this week is a sexual awareness week and I figured I should use this opportunity and take it and run with it while I could because if I don't do this now, I'll never do it. To start with, what is asexuality? The simple way of saying, of explaining it is that an asexual person doesn't feel any sexual attraction towards anybody else. Sometimes it gets a bit more complicated than that and some people that fall on the asexual spectrum will f only feel sexual attraction towards certain people or only in certain circumstances. Or Whereas so uh, anyone else might look at a person and think, oh yeah, I wouldn't mind sleeping with them. Any sexual wouldn't, they wouldn't be interested in that. That doesn't mean they can't appreciate how good looking somebody is or, or that they don't want to be in a room relationship. They just don't want sex. It's not something they're bothered about. Some people might be comfortable having sex, some people might really not want to at all. Some people might do it for other reasons, for if they want children or if they just want to make their partner happy. Or... I don't completely understand all of these things but that's the basics of it. The asexual flag looks like this. And asexual people might wear a black ring on their on their middle finger, on their right hand. There's a running joke in the asexual community that cake is better than sex. And I'm not particularly a huge cake fan, but if it's chocolate cake, then yeah, definitely. <laughs> if you want to know more about asexuality than the basics I can give you, the, uh, there's a link to the Avon website, which is in the doodah. And I'll also put links down there to the Asexuality blog and Grace and Ace and a few Ace blogs that I could find on Tumblr. But there's surprisingly not many people know about Asexuality but there is a lot of stuff out there for Ace people. Just Google it and there's loads of stuff. Sadly there's a big emphasis on sex in this world. There's... it's all you ever see on TV or so it seems sometimes. <laughs> sex education classes at school just make it seem like this is something you will feel eventually and you're gonna grow up and everything's gonna be sex 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 it's not that's not true they, they always make it seem like when you fall in love with somebody you want to have sex with them that's not always the case for a lot of people that just doesn't happen Yes, asexual people are only like 1% of the world's population, but they do exist. They are there. Our society's emphasis on having sex makes a lot of ace people feel like they're broken or inadequate or something's wrong with them, and that's not true at all. Ace people are discriminated against, but it's not that they're necessarily hated. Like, it's not that, it's just that they're pretty much ignored completely as far as a lot of people are concerned. They don't exist at all. They exist. They're here. And that's why we need an Asexual Awareness Week. If you sat through this entire vlog thinking, is she trying to tell us something? Then, yeah, I am. Yeah, uh, this is, this is me coming out. I am asexual. I am biromantic. I've always felt this way. It's just that it's only in the last couple of years I've realised there's a word for it. And if me doing stuff like this and st the sort of stuff I reblog on my Tumblr all the time, if that helps somebody realise that this is what they are, they're not broken, then I will do this, I will do it as much as I need to. Just over two years ago was when I re realised I was ace, and uh, even more recently than that, I realised that I was biromantic as well, thanks to a friend pointing out that I had crushes on girls as well. <laughs> I like both boys and girls. I hesitate to say that I'm pan-romantic, but I might be, I just don't know. I feel more comfortable saying biromantic, it covers everything, it, uh, everything anyway. I've been in a relationship with my lovely boyfriend Josh for four years now, so I was with him before I knew I was ace. And I told him last new year that I was ace, and he's fine with it, everything's good. I'm sure he'll turn up in a video eventually. Um, I'm very lucky to have him and I absolutely adore him. I love him to bits. So here's a bit of a, a advice for fellow ace people. Just because you're ace doesn't mean you can't
can't be in a relationship. Some people don't want to be, and that's fine. But if you want to be and you're worried that it'll ruin it, it doesn't matter. It doesn't make... If, if you're with them and you come out to them and they have a problem with that, then you weren't meant to be with them. All's good. You'll find somebody eventually. You're not broken. You're not alone. And you're not unlovable. If you want to ask me anything, you know where I am. There's my YouTube here. You can leave a comment or send me a message or anything. Or there's my Tumblr. You can send me an ask. Or my Twitter. You can send me... You can tweet me or send me a DM. Anything. I'll, I'll answer an, uh, anything you want me to as soon as I can. Thanks for watching and bye.